Most of us go to work. Some of us right out of high school and some a little later. Need some support to get a job? Indiana Vocational Rehabilitation may be able to help. What is vocational rehabilitation? Indiana Vocational Rehabilitation, sometimes referred to as just VR, is an employment program for high school students and adults with disabilities. If you have an identified physical, mental health, or learning disability, VR can help you gain skills, find a job, start your first career, or discover a new one. VR can even help you if you already have a job but are struggling to keep it because of your disability. How does it work? First, you need to be referred to VR so they know you're interested in their services. We'll talk more about referral in a minute. Next, you'll meet with VR to complete an application. VR staff will then see if you are eligible for VR services. Bring any relevant medical information about your disability to your first appointment. VR may also ask you to participate in some evaluations. Don't worry. VR will pay for any medical or other type of evaluation they might need in order to determine your eligibility. Once VR determines your eligibility, you'll work together to develop an individualized plan for employment. Sometimes you will hear that referred to as your plan. You may also do some activities to learn about different types of careers and what works best for you. For instance, you might visit job sites to explore your interests and skills or talk to employers to learn about specific careers. Is that it? With your plan guiding you, you'll work with your counselor and possibly other service providers on things like writing a resume, interviewing skills, and on actually searching for a job. The last step in the process is case closure. That happens after you found a job, worked there for at least 90 days, and you and your counselor agree that things are going well. Am I eligible for VR services too? You're eligible if you have a physical or mental condition that makes it difficult for you to work, and if VR sees you need and could benefit from VR services. Even if it doesn't look as if I have a disability? Yes, even then. VR helps people with lots of different disabilities, like autism, physical impairments, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's. They also help people who are deaf or hard of hearing, blind or visually impaired, and people with less obvious disabilities like learning disabilities, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, or bipolar disorder. Will everyone who applies to VR receive services? If VR doesn't have enough resources, they may need to serve people through a process called order of selection. Under order of selection, VR must first provide services to people with the most significant disabilities, those with fewer needs may need to wait for services. Your VR counselor will let you know if VR is operating under an order of selection when you apply for services and will tell you what this might mean for you. You should apply for VR even if an order of selection is in place. How will VR know that I need services? Anyone can refer you to VR. Teachers and family members will often make a referral for a high school student. Medicaid waiver case managers also sometimes refer individuals. You can even refer yourself by contacting your local Indiana VR office. If I'm eligible, what services could VR provide? That will depend on what you need in order to work. Services may include, but aren't necessarily limited to, vocational guidance and counseling, job placement assistance, training and education, medical services, assistive technology, including devices like speech-to-text software or special keyboard or screen readers for your computer. Is there anything I can do now before I leave high school? Yes, high school students have another option. If you're still in school, you can participate in pre-employment transition services or pre-ETS. Pre-ETS can help prepare you for the transition from school to employment or to college or training after high school. Depending on your individual needs, services could include career exploration, work-based learning experiences, job readiness training, counseling on enrollment in post-secondary training, and self-advocacy instruction. If you're a student with a disability between the ages of 14 and 22, you may be able to participate in one or more of these five pre-ETS activities. You can receive pre-ETS even if you don't apply for VR. Find more information at this website.
but how much does all of this cost? There's no charge for VR services or pre-ETS. However, VR does use other funding from things like insurance, Medicaid, or federal student aid to help pay for certain costs. What if I have a job and it doesn't work out? Will VR still help if I'm laid off or get fired? Contact your VR counselor. If appropriate, she or he can reopen your case. You can work together to find out what went wrong, if anything, and find another job. It all sounds good. What are my responsibilities? When you come to VR, you'll tell your counselor about your interests, strengths, and anything that you might need to be successful at work. You'll also help your VR counselor create your individualized plan for employment. Then you'll need to make some choices about your job goals. What kind of work you'd like to do, how many hours you want to work, and whether you'd like to work with a team or on your own. Be prepared to answer questions and to ask some of your own. How do I contact Indiana VR? Indiana VR has several local offices around the state. You can find an office directory online at the link shown here, or pick up information about VR at your high school guidance office, the Office of Disability Services at your college, or your local Work One office.